Hello, in this video we'll talk about list slices. List slices provides an advanced mechanism for accessing values from lists using colon notation. So here we have a list squared. Let's say we wanted to print values from position 2 to 6, right? Uh, uh, so actually the right way would be that we want to print values from position 2 to 5. When we want to do that, we will say 2 colon 6. So it include the values from the index 2, 3, 4 and 5. Similarly, when we want to print all the values, uh, let's say the squared colon 6, right? What it means is that, you know, start from value, you know, 0 and go till 5th position. So you print all the values from at the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is what you get. You know, you get uh, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Similarly, you know, you say squared 3 colon means the end position is 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 uh, you know you have to print all the values at the end position. At the start you have to start from the third position. So you print from 0, 1, 2, 3. So you start from 9 and you go to end. Square 0, 1 means you start from 0 but don't include 1. So it means just print the 0th element. So these are the values which will come as we see. Now list slices can also have a third argument which represents a step. So when we don't give any argument the default step is you, know, you can think of as as one right so you what you do is you print the next step right uh, let's say when you have a squared right and the step value is two means you start from uh, the the zeroth position and then the second value you start printing that the fourth value you start printing that because your step is two so the way you would print is start with zero print four sixteen thirty six 64 so that is what is being printed and similarly if you take print square 283 what it means is start from 2 go to 7th position and take a step of 3 so start from 2 means start from 4 go to the 7th position means it is still 49 so in that take a step of 3 so from 4 if you take a step of 3 is 1 2 3 right so it it uh, you know, uh, it will print. Uh, uh, you know, it will print uh, the the first fourth position, right? Because this is where from where it has started, right? And the next one it should print is one, two, three, which is twenty five. Then the next step is one, two, three. But our list ends only at forty nine because of eight, right? We have to only go to seven. And right? when this is eight, one less is the end position. So when we take a step of 3 after 25, you know, you, you, you go to 64, which is not part of this list. Hence, it will not be printed. We will only print 425. List slices can also be negative. So when you say go from, you know, 1 and take a step of minus 1, what it means is go from the start and end, one, you know, minus 1 position. So 1 less from the end. So it will print 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. Right. Similarly, when you don't give anything at the start, means you start from zeroth position, but go till one less position from the end. So it will go to 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 30, 49, 64. Here also you can do a you know a step position, right? A two. The same same principle holds, except the difference is that uh, you end at 64, right? You will end at 64. So you start with 0, 4, 16, 36, and 64. That is how you actually print. So this is in short about list slices. Uh, next video we will see about list comprehension. Thank you.